Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. Uh, this is the sixth part of this uh, sixth part of the duodenum lectures because we have started the small intestine. So in this session of the video, we're going to talk about a little bit the things that are remaining regarding the duodenum, like mucous membrane, pellica, circularis, major duodenal papilla, and minor duodenal papilla. And we're going to talk about the blood supply. I'm going to have a quick review of the blood supply and the nerve supply and the lymphatic drainage and the venous drainage so let's get started all right so let's start with the mucous membrane so remember that the mucous membrane um let me write down so because the topics which we're going to cover up the mucous membrane right so the mucous membrane is actually uh, the uh, mucous membrane of the duodenum is usually you know thick but in the first part remember this first part of the duodenum it's actually smooth so when somebody is asking you uh, the uh, mucous membrane uh, what, what about mucous membrane of the duodenum you will be you will be saying that in the first part it's smooth but as you go further it is going to get thicker and again as you go further from the first part it kind of, the mucous man, membrane kind of forms folds uh, kind of form big folds in, in it so these folds the folds of mucous membrane kind of form inside like on the interior surface the, from the inside these folds are called plicae circularis nothing big deal plicae i'm sorry about my pronunciation right and this is it Simply, the mucous membrane kind of folds up and kind of form these structures called plica circularis. Now let's talk about the major duodenal papilla, right? Major duodenal papilla. All right, all right. So the major duodenal papilla, kind of uh, remember this way. Uh, we have talked about the major and minor duodenal papilla. These, these, these are the structures. I haven't highlighted them. So this one is kind of your major duodenal papilla, and this one is kind of your minor duodenal papilla. Minor, M-I-N-O-R, duodenal papilla. So what are these uh, structures? So the major duodenal papilla is actually the rounded elevation. Like it's a kind of an elevation, but you can only see that elevation when you are kind of opening this, of uh, opening the duodenum. Like you see it from inside all right so this is kind of the major duodenal papilla is kind of a rounded elevation which is actually the site of opening for two ducts which ducts the bile duct we have talked about in, in the in, in, i guess i'm in mean, third or uh, third or fourth part we, we have talked about this the two ducts kind of open together the bile duct and the main pancreatic duct remember this is the main pancreatic duct the kind of both join together and form an ampulla and drain into this uh, uh, this rounded elevation you call it the major duodenal papilla and one thing more to remember this is actually on the medial side because you can see is it opens on the medial side I, i'm just showing it in a two, uh, 2d structure but if you're going to see it in a three dimension you would know it will open into the medial uh, medial side of the duodenum and now to we'll talk about the minor duodenal papilla so minor duodenal papilla is kind of 1.9 centimeter as you go 1.9 centimeter above the major duodenal papilla you'll find the minor duodenal papilla so this guy is nothing just an opening for which for the accessory pancreatic duct so sometimes the accessory pancreatic duct is present sometimes it is not if it is present so this guy is going to drain into this small boy called the minor pancreatic duct now let's talk about the blood supply so the blood supply is very interesting you know uh, i'll go i'll be going you know uh, going to make a quick review regarding the blood supply of the duodenum but uh, by tomorrow or by after tomorrow i'll be going to make a detailed video on the uh, blood supply or you can say the branches of abdominal aorta and the blood supply of the whole git i'll i'll try to make it as easy as possible and kind of make it uh, you know understandable and easy to remember now let's just talk about only about the blood supply of duodenum so this guy is very interesting if i explain it to you this way Remember, the blood supply of duodenum is actually divided into two, uh, two parts. Like this upper part is, uh, upper half is supplied by another uh, artery and the lower part is supplied by the another artery. So first we're going to talk about the artery, right? So the artery, 
the upper part is actually supplied the upper part is actually supplied by if you if i'm going to write upper part you'll be saying it is going to be supplied by the superior uh, you can say upper half of the um, uh, of the duodenum is actually supplied by the superior pancreatico duodenal duodenal artery all right so the upper half is actually supplied by the superior pancreatic duodenal artery and you might be thinking where this guy came from like what the hell is this so remember this guy is actually a branch of this guy the superior pancreatic duodenal artery is a branch of your gastro duodenal artery right gastro duodenal artery and that gastro duodenal artery is a kind of a branch of the common hepatic artery so where does the common hepatic artery arises if you don't remember what this hell what the hell is this i'll be explaining these uh, p these things in other videos so the common hepatic artery again drain into the celiac trunk and celiac trunk is going to drain into the your abdominal aorta look how amazingly we have uh, like uh, put it uh, kept it together abdominal aorta so very simple uh, the upper half supplied by the superior pancreatic duodenal artery that's it upper half and we have also the lower half we're going to talk about the lower half in just a bit so the upper half very simple superior pancreatic duodenal artery if somebody is asking you where does that superior pancreatic duodenal artery came from you will be simply saying it is coming from the gastro duodenal artery and it comes from the common hepatic artery and it comes from the celiac trunk we know that celiac trunk has three three branches one is common hepatic artery another is the splenic splenic artery and the third is left gastric artery so and the, finally the celiac trunk ends up into the abdominal aorta but the lower half is actually supplied by guess it exactly this guy is superior we need an inferior right inferior pancreatic duodenal artery right so upper half by superior pancreatic duodenal artery the lower half is supplied by the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery but this guy is not a branch of the gastro duodenal artery this guy is actually a branch of superior mesenteric artery right superior mesenteric artery and this guy superior mesenteric artery kinds of is a branch of your abdominal aorta so right so the first this guy arises this electron then over superior mesenteric artery uh, arises and it's a branch of abdominal aorta that's very easy if somebody is asking what is the blood supply of the duodenum be very specific uh the upper upper half is supplied by this uh superior pancreatic duodenal artery and the lower half is supplied by the uh, inferior pancreatic duodenal artery if they are going to ask any detail you can explain them this diagram